Hi, how you doing everybody? It's me, Gerald. Uh, you, a lot of you know me as uh, the Earthling, because I'm just an Earthling. Uh, I talk about a lot, of, a lot of different things out there, but I wanted to do these videos on uh, the care, etiquette, feeding, and just uh, spread the knowledge that my brother and I have gained over the years on cats and how we treat them and uh, the way other tree people treat them. And, and it's, uh, this is uh, basically an introduction. Uh, later on we'll get into things. And there is a, a, a couple of points that you know that you can start right away and probably improve your condition with your cats. Like a lot of people, uh, you know, I can go ahead and just go start right out and uh, throw it in there, okay? I'll throw my hat in the ring. Start giving a little advice. Some of it you might like, you might not. Some of it you're going to take to heart. Some of it you might not. But we tend to have this thing. My brother's got this thing about cats, man. They come to him like he's like a little magnet. They, they uh, gravitate towards him. He's able to get him healthy. He gets him, he's got all the strays around the neighborhood or the complex at least. Coming to the door. He's, even we've gotten a hold of a few of them. Gotten them cleaned up. Gotten them new homes. Or got them spayed or neutered and re-released because, you know, they can't do anything else. Uh, there's a, a re-release ferals program that goes on where they take the, the male feral, who's the uh, alpha male, and they try to catch him and they get a hold of him and they sterilize him and re-release him. We won't have any uh, litters the next season because, well, he's the dominant male and he's not going to let anybody else in there. Meanwhile, he's fixed, so you can do all the ones. That's enough. That's cats that are like outdoor cats, okay? Uh, we don't want to have any what we call outdoor cats. We don't have cats that, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm of the opinion that, that cats, they were wild animals at one time, but we humans have domesticated them. It is now our responsibility to make sure they're healthy. Don't you feel? Don't you feel that way? Don't you think so? It's kind of like watching the people around your neighborhood or watching who comes to your house or anything. Who goes to your kid's school? Lots of things that are similar. But now, let's get into this a little. We ourselves. I started out where in my, I had a little studio. Quite a few years ago. I had one cat. I had Mr. Biscuit. But he's here right over here. Mr. Biscuit. He's sleeping like he does when he's with me. Hold on. There he is. Mr. Biscuit. Mr. Biscuit. Yeah. Well. He's... Anyway, he's my alpha male. <laughs> so I guess, like, he's like my cat, kind of. Anyway, he's, he, well, he's ours because he's just a lot. He adores uh, Catman Do. Uncle Lane, yeah, he adores himself. We have a, of our own that we consider our, our cats, or we have four, basically. Or is it five? <laughs> I don't, listen, they come and they go, they stay and they don't. <laughs> as long as they're healthy wealthy and wise they get to go on their way we found a couple of homes and real this one day we found her a kitten and uh, we found a kitten brought it up to health and everything and uh took it over this lady and, and let her see it she said oh it's so cute i like that i can't like that blah, blah, blah. the lady went over there and he, he get, you know he said well we'll help you out here and he got her the cat he didn't just give her the cat and let it go you know he checked up on her he went over and said okay this is how you do your cat box so you do this. Speaking of which, <coughs> one's cat box is an item that that bugs everybody. I mean, always you hear even advertisers whining about the odor. Why would your cat box stink? Why would it stink? I know that's a rhetorical question. 
and you're saying in your mind to this dummy, well, because there's poop and pee in it. Yes. But open the lid on your toilet. Does it look like poop and pee is in there? No. What do you do when you get done going to the bathroom? You flush it. You flush the toilet. You want to get rid of that crap. Well, I mean, you know, I'm disabled. I don't have any legs. So as far as uh, personally doing a lot of this stuff, it's hard for me. And I, I struggle. So Wayne does a lot of work besides just being my caregiver. He's doing a lot of these cats. Like he chains. He's in there in that cat box, you know, four, five, six times a day. Because he gets your schedules down when they eat, when they go to the bathroom. He knows where each one goes, what size it is, and all kinds of stuff. It's really funny. But the, the the most important part of that is that when you when you do that with a, like a scooper that strains the good sand and actually holds on to the pee, the moisture, the clumps, and you dump those, put those in something real tight and take rid of, get rid of those, there isn't anything in there to smell. <laughs> You've got your, it's just a cat box now again. And these people that like, well, you ask you, how often do you change your cat box? And when I, when I actually hear from people, oh, a couple times a week or things like that, I go, what? Are you out of your mind? See, the thing is, you don't have to change that gravel all the time. As long as you're in there, you know it when your cats go. And now how can it be? What do you do? Where do you go when you have to go to the bathroom? When you have to pee? Poop. You go to the bathroom. We have small bathrooms. One of them I have to use because I have a wheelchair. The other one, that's where we put the cat box. In the bathroom. So the cats are going to the bathroom in the bathroom. Did that make sense to you? I mean, you see it all the time, people putting it in their kitchen. You see the little kitties running in there, you know, <laughs> running across the counter. You know they're just in that cat box. Spreading around all that poop and pee that you leave in there because you think once a week's okay. Or once every two days is okay. Well, that's not how it works. Okay? You really have to keep up with the uh, the program in, in a way and uh, design more to keep... It keeps your house cleaner. People come in ours with, like, we have four of our own, like I say, all the strays in the neighborhood hang out on our porch. We put a little awning out for them to keep them dry and try to keep them warm and stuff, you know? Put a little food out for them, water. I mean, who wants... I don't care if they're Australians. We don't want them to get, get hypothermia and die out there. Who wants them? They don't want to come in. They don't want to come in. But they do. We try to get a hold of them and get them over, get them fixed, and try to get them adopted out or something. But meanwhile, for now, I'll give you some tips, like I said. Remember your cat box. It's like going to the bathroom. Flush the damn thing. And especially if you have more than one person in the house and you only have one cat. Give me a break. You know, flush their little toilet too. Okay? Sayonara. I'm going to go ahead and uh, annotate this and everything. Uh, come back for the second one next week, all right? We'll see you later. It's uh, Tuesday, the 30th of... Uh, December, and uh, November, and uh, we're getting uh, running around towards that holiday area. People do. <laughs> Good night. I'm an earthly Gerald. My my brother, Catmandu, says see you later. <laughs>